As water emerges from underground springs, it's saturated with carbon dioxide and also by dissolved minerals. And those dissolved minerals precipitate to form new rocks. We can do an experiment at home in our kitchen to precipitate new minerals. And it's called rock candy. How would you, how would you guys like to make some rock candy right now? Yay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Will you guys help me? We'll make some rock candy and we'll show how that process occurs. The okay, first thing we need to do is we need to pour some water into this pan. Allison, can you pour a little water in there for us? Now we're going to take the temperature up on our hot plate and we're going to boil that water. And that water will get superheated. And we're going to mix in some sugar and have that sugar dissolve. Sugar is a good proxy or substitute for a mineral in this case. Logan, go ahead and pour that in for us. And we want to stir that up and so that it mixes very well. And as we stir this warm water and the sugar combination, the sugar will dissolve and go into solution with the water in the pot. And as the water flows around in nature, it flows around carrying these sugar molecules along with it until something changes, like when it comes back out of the ground. Once we've got our solution of warm sugar water, we want to put it into jars so that we can form rock candy. And we're going to take the two clothes pins that you have, and we're going to put our sticks in the clothes pins, and then we're going to lay those right across the top of our mason jars. Now the sticks actually offer the crystals a place where they can start to mineralize and crystallize, a way to nucleate. And so we're going to take our liquid, and this is very hot, so you want to be very careful, and we're going to pour it carefully into these jars. And then we're going to sit back and we're going to wait for that liquid to cool over the next few days, even weeks. And then we will have some nice rock candy. If you really want to have some jazzed up, awesome looking rock candy, we don't want it just clear. We want to add a little color to it. A little bit of food coloring, just a couple drops is good. And a little bit in Allison's as well, okay? That'll give our, and we can take our stick and just swizzle it in up. I think it's yellow. I think it's yellow. Yep, it's yep, yellow. Yellow it is. Yellow orange. Very good. So now we just have to sit back and wait for this experiment to complete. Well, guys, we've got our awesome rock candy. How, how did it taste? It's just good. <laughs> it's good. Really good. It's awesome. This is the best candy ever.